Hi guys, and welcome back to Raymore Repair, and this is our next project. Now, it's not much of a project. We're just doing an oil change, chain adjust, and that kind of thing on this. But, it still needs to be done, so we're going to do it. Let's do a walk around and see exactly what we got a hold of here. There she is in all our beauty. Now, I put these around my clamps on my tie down so it doesn't scratch the tank. But this is her. She is a CTX 700. I know that because it says so right here. And I know it's a 700 because, well, it just is. There she is. This is a low riding cruiser. It's a 700cc parallel twin. So you can see the cylinders are leaned way forward. And this is an engine design Honda came out with a few years ago. This bike is a 2013 model. And this belongs to my son. And we're going to do a quick run through on it. We're going to check the tire pressures, check the chain, change the oil and filter and do some other minor things on it. So come along with me. Alrighty, we are currently looking underneath the bike. Here's the kickstand to give you an idea of where we're at. This is the exhaust pipe from the front cylinder. It's a little warm, but not too bad. And this is the drain plug right down here. So we're gonna take a 12 millimeter and we're gonna pop that sweetheart loose. Now, my son just bought this. I don't know how bad it needs an oil change, but I just want to get it on record that we did it so we know where we're at. Look at this, a drain pan over here, a little closer. The good news is the threads feel good. Sometimes they don't. There we go. Well, it's not too bad. I spoke earlier, this is a 2014 CTX 700N, as in Nancy. Now one of the things we do want to do is use a new crush washer. You can buy these cheap, heck you can buy from Honda cheap. And uh, they squish once and then they don't ever squish the same again. And this is the lower run of the drive chain right here. So it obviously doesn't lube it very much and it is pretty stinking loose. What's it supposed to have? It's supposed to have one and a quarter inches free play from down here to up here. I'm gonna guess that's quite a bit more than that. It's supposed to have 30 millimeters of free play. So just for the heck of it, let's see what we got. We're starting there at about 70, and we're going up there to about 30. So we got about 40 millimeters free play. It's not terrible, but it's just not that great either. Now what we're gonna do before we actually adjust this is we're gonna lube it. Because after we lube it, it's going to have a little bit more slack in it. Now the good news, on this unit anyway, is we cannot pull the chain back off the sprocket very far. So it's still in pretty good shape. We're just going to twirl this and lube it. I'm sure what you're thinking right now is, oh my gosh, he's lubing the outside of the chain, not the inside. Don't worry about that. We're going to lube the inside too. This is not the world's best chain lube by any means. It's kind of runny, not very tacky. It has to set on there for a while before it tacks up. I got this pig mat in here, so I'm gonna move the pan out of the way. Then I'm gonna put the plug back in. Isn't it weird how it starts running faster as soon as I move the pan? Properly torque the drain plug. Then we'll dispose of the oil and I'll be right back. Now this is the view from the front down the right side and our, air, our oil filter lies right there on the front of the engine. I took this chin piece off here so we could actually see in here better. Let's see if we can just grab a hold of it and turn it off. That's going to be a big no. Alright, let's get after it a different way. The best thing I have here is a strap wrench. Now, a real oil filter wrench would be way better for this, but we're gonna see what we can do with this. Jeepers creepers. Somebody put the torque on that thing. 
Might go around the other side and pull. Jack the back of the bike up a bit more so I can get a better throw on my ratchet. By the time it starts getting tight, I'm running out of room. I'd say that was over torqued by just about 700 times. Now you might be asking yourself at a time like this, what oil filter would we put back on this thing? Well, I can tell you, we're gonna put a genuine Honda filter back on her. That's what we're doing. There we go. That's good. All right, our coolant bottle's right here and we are bone dry. So let's add some coolant in there. This is just the reservoir tank and we need to add it to right about here. Is about where the full line is on the other side. Now, it was completely out before, so I'm hoping that part of that purges in. Now you may be wondering, what's the flavor of the day on oil? Well, you may have already figured this out, but we're using Honda GN4 1030. So that's what this bike calls for. Why go reinventing the wheel and using some other oil in it? Let's grab our dipping stick and see where we're at. Well, we're almost to the full mark. That'll be good enough to start it up and fill up the oil filter. And then we'll recheck it. Now we'll let that oil set down for a few minutes. In the meantime, let's check the tire pressures. Now this does beg the question of how much air should be in the tires. And hopefully the sticker on the bike is still there. Because we always want to adjust the tires to what the bike wants, not what the tires want. And this is 36 and 42. Pretty much standard Honda tire pressure. Some bikes are different. Check yours. But that's going to be pretty close to many of them. We've got 25. It's gonna feel like a new bike. Thirty six. Small tires didn't take a lot of air to change their pressures. We only had about twenty seven in the back tire. Yep, we're right on it. Put the valve stem cap back on there. Yep, we're a little low. All right, and there we are, right there. That'll do. That'll do just fine. I just want to loosen that. I don't want to back it completely off. Alrighty, on this bike, the 12 is a lock nut. It looks like a 14 is the actual adjuster nut. And what we're looking for here is, are there are marks in here. We've got a big mark, 
a littler mark, and then a littler mark. And we want to turn this just a little bit to bring that out. Just enough to take our 10 millimeters of slack out, and that's enough. It just doesn't take much. Let me adjust the other side to match that. Lock it back down. See where we're at here? Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll lock this side back down. Grab our 14 millimeter nut and hold it still. And then our 12, we'll crank her down. Yep, our marks are about the same on both sides. Yep, that's good. This is the bottom run of our chain once again. We'll set our tape measure up. Raise it up a touch more. And we're just below 10 there. And we're just below 7 there. So that gets us really close to where we need to be for chain slack. Now, chain slack, always go to the loose side of the adjustment more than the tight side. It just is a safer way to go. All right, I'm gonna put the chin piece back on. If you wanna watch that, I'll film it. Then I'll decide whether to cut it out or not later. Set on here, kind of like that. And let's see. I don't know what you can see and what you can't. We're going to be putting a bolt in up here. I'm going to grab my socket off here to make it easier to start these. These the one, these do not have a shoulder on them, they have a washer on them. It's kind of how I remembered what goes where. And then there was one down here and he was also a washer with no shoulder. Looks like I got some drippies on our chin piece here. Most likely coolant. I still want to wipe it off though. We'll find a screw to put in him because I think he was not there. I just took these out and pulled the chin piece off. So we'll put one in there just to make it all better. All right, once again, thanks for joining me here on Raymore Repair. We really appreciate you tuning in to us and subscribing. Make sure you like the video and anything else you can do. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it really helps me out. So uh, anyway, we'll keep bringing different projects to you. If you have anything special you'd like to see, please let me know, and uh, I'll see if I can arrange it. Thank you for watching. God bless.